Each decision in a decision tree leads to a probability distribution of payoffs or losses. The decision chosen as best is the one that optimizes a summary measure of this distribution, usually its expected value. But there is certainly more to the distribution than its expected value. Precision Tree's Risk Profile tool lets you see the entire probability distribution. Of course, a decision tree usually discretizes outcomes. For example, if a chance outcome indicates the increase in sales from an advertising campaign, it might be discretized as low, medium, and high. Therefore, risk profiles for decision trees are typically spike charts, where there is a spike above each possible payoff with height equal to the probability of the payoff. I will illustrate a risk profile with the oil drilling problem from the precision tree example files. An oil company must first decide whether to run an expensive test for the presence of oil, and then it must ultimately decide whether to drill for oil. Here's the completed tree. The optimal decision is to run the test. Then the optimal drilling decision depends on the result of the test. The expected payoff from running the test is 545,000, which beats the 530,000 from not running the test. The risk profiles from these two decisions enable you to compare more than their expected values. You can compare their entire probability distributions. To create a risk profile, select Risk Profile from the Decision Analysis drop down list on the Precision Tree ribbon to get the following dialog box. Before clicking OK, you should understand the options for the starting node and path boxes. If you select Entire Model for the starting node, you will see the risk profile for the entire tree. If you want to see the risk profile only from some node in the middle of the tree onward, you can choose a different starting node. The default path option, Optimal Path Through Model, shows you just one risk profile, the one for the optimal decision. However, for now, I will select the All Branches of Starting Node option, then I will see the risk profile for each decision branch from the starting node. When you click OK, you get a new worksheet for each of the results options checked. The probability chart, the cumulative chart, statistical summary. The probability chart is the spike chart discussed earlier. It shows the risk profile for the optimal test decision in blue and for the non-optimal no test decision in red. For example, you can see that there are four possible payoffs, or costs, when the test is run, the four blue spikes. They combine to an expected payoff of 545000 but the risk profile shows in more detail what could actually happen. And the data for the chart are also included at the bottom. The cumulative chart and the statistical summary are simply two other ways to show these probability distributions and their summary measures. As an alternative to the entire model risk profile option, I will now show the risk profile that starts with a middle node, namely the decision node after the test is run and an indicate small results has been obtained. This node. This is actually cell E25 in the tree. E25. Here is the probability chart in this case. The optimal decision is to drill, and it has three possible outcomes corresponding to the three possible amounts of oil in the well. The non optimal solution is to not drill. It has a single spike at minus $55,000. The spike in this case is not at zero because by this time, the test has already been run at a cost of $55,000.